First two answers, don't write down anything yet. Just listen. Okay, that's the end of class. Water pressure to find the right thing. Like, that's not a lot of pressure. Water. That's a pressure cooker. Right? Oh, but I'm very good. Pressure. In the class. Pressure. My rules. You walk with the idea that pressure are forces on you. The best way to define it scientifically is force per area. So you discover anything you want for the first thing. Pressure is forces acting on me. But, but the calculated concept is force per area. So actually, smaller area creates larger pressure. Right? right. One, two, number one. Pressure is defined as force over an area. You're not having to write the first two down. Number one is force in the area. Are you talking about? When you have a larger force in a small area, it's a great deal of pressure. Austin, you cannot sit there. I'm working back and forth with that position. Come on, you're At the table. <laughs> At the table. Shh. Acting. Wait, hold on. No. If the same force acts on a given area, the smaller area has the higher pressure. Most ladies know not to wear high heels in the dirt. I do. I do. And I'm retarded. Look at you. Look at yourself. <laughs> Only God can The high you. heel sinks into the dirt because of the small area of the pressure. Wait, I don't even wear high heels. So why did they answer the question that way? I don't know. <laughs> Number three. To calculate pressure, you divide the force acting by the area over which it acts. Force divided by area. So to calculate the actual amount of total pressure, we have a force in newtons in the metric system and the area in meters squared. In our common system, it's pounds per square inch, PSI. So when you go to your gas station to get air tires, they don't do it down the KPA, they do it in PSI. Right. Number number four. What? To do this calculation, all right, you divide 600 newtons by 0.8 meters squared because the area of a rectangle is the block of length and width. So 2.0 meters 
times 0.4 meters gives you 0.8 meters squared. So if you want to examine choice number A, choice A is the area. You can actually break that down. Choice A is the area of this object. You divide in 600 by 0.8 to get 750. 600 newtons divided by 0.8 is 0 meters squared. This is 750 half a half. Half a newton per meter squared. 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 Half a newton per meter Oxygen is fluid and oil is a fluid. Gasoline is a fluid. The blood is a fluid. Okay. You're going to miss part of this because I'm going to go through it so quickly. All right, questions on this? He's buying his glasses for her today. It's wool. Oh my god, it's so cute. All right. There's little X's on it. Statements that are true about fluid. Two statements. At a given depth, the pressure is equal in all directions. If you go down in the water five feet, everywhere at five feet, same pressure is there. C is correct and also is D. Most of you wouldn't want to be in a very dense fluid. I want to be the very best. Why would you want to be in a very dense, dense fluid? It would feel very strange to you to be partially in the water and out of the water. That's fine, okay? It's time reset today, is There is a distinction between viscous and dense. What's the difference? What does viscosity mean? How well it pours to flows. Resistance to flow. You have a viscosity term, which is not density. Density is how well it will be stacking up on top of each other. Less dense is on top, more dense is on You can have a very viscous fluid, like baby oil. Ever heard of feedback? Baby oil is very, very thick and also floats. Like uh, corn syrup. Corn syrup. You walk on that. It's very, very viscous. You walk on it. Please, just listen to this. Excuse me. Almost, it means it's thick, yeah. So you can't Silence. stick your fingers through easily. It sticks to your fingers. The syrup would be very highly viscous as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Kunk, domo kunk. It doesn't matter if you've got a uh, lake or a pool. If you're at the same depth, the you have the same pressure. So, it is called thing. The lake is larger, but it's not how large it is because you are. That determines the pressure. So, it is false. Number nine, altitude is how high you are above sea level. There's a nice chart now, filling all these extra spaces. Uh, that sounded really wrong. I'm the largest one for right now. Thank you. Thank you, Kanka. Notice standard pressure is 101.3 kPa. 101.3 thousand Pascal. That's a lot of Pascal. Oh my gosh. No, you can know that half one. 101.3. If I gave you a question to answer, to answer like this, you'd have a chart like this to use. How high is uh, a mile? 5,280 5, feet. About how many meters is that? 27. 3,360. No. It's about 400. No. It's how many? It's a thousand something. Oh, yeah. A thousand something. Fifteen thousand four hundred. Ten thousand dollars. How low then is the air pressure in, 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 in Denver? It's hey. less than uh, 87. Hi, how you doing? Silence! Less than 87. Shut up. Well, then they play baseball out there. 
Maybe it won't go black farther. Yeah, it's not large to tell you. Because it's a boat. Oh, you're going to go. I was born this way, baby. I was born this way. Notice what's the trend here? What's the trend? I don't know what the trend is, Mr. Kunk. Air pressure decreases with increasing altitude. The higher you go, the lower the pressure. Air. The higher you go, the lower the pressure. Charles! Oh. He's over there. My bad. Go to climb mountains. When we go to get above a mile, we start on climbing normally. Slow down. Why? Air is thinner, there's less oxygen up there. But to keep the same pace up, their heart makes a lot of problems. Downhill, so they're going uphill. You need energy to use your muscles to get uphill. Okay, so 12. <laughs> yeah. you get this one from the chart. How much does the air pressure decrease in bars from sea level to 1,200 meters? You just subtract the 200. From, from, from 1.0, you subtract 86.77, you get 2.1323. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, How much pressure awesome. exists wow. on top of your head? Wow. Is there at least a thousand newtons on you? There better be. You'll get there on by a your life. I'm on that right on, on track. Twin meter. Oh, boy, this be out. Divide that up into the uh, size of your head. Your head's about a what square? About a foot square, get back. On top of it. So there's going to be quite a bit of pressure on top of your head. A lot more than just a thousand newtons. What the newton? About an apple weight. So the next one is just this thing. More than a thousand apples push down on you. I don't eat like a man. Yeah, but you don't know. I watch you when you're like, oh, oh, oh. if you were on Jupiter, I'm going to drink six you milk. more apples on top of your head. Yeah. Which would be. Because there's more gravity force on. Jupiter. Look at his sweater today. Sorry, look at his sweater. 14 is true. On it and, and 15. I'll oh, shrink this down a little bit. 13 is Why do you feel crushed by that air pressure? Oh my gosh. Okay. You have pressure inside your body. 